Oh, this is a story about a guy named Al, and he lived in a sewer with his hamster pal. But the sanitation workers really didn't approve, so he packed up his accordion and had to move to a city in Ohio where he lived in a tree. And he worked in a nasal decongestant factory, and he played on the company bowling team. And every single night he had a fringe recurring dream, where he was wearing leader hosen and a bat of sour cream. But that's really not important to the story. Well, the very next year he met a dental hygienist with a special and tattooed on her arm. On her arm. But he didn't even touch, and he lost her number. Then he got himself a job on a tater tot farm, and he spent his life saving metal split level games when he mouthed full the surface of the earth. the earth. And he really makes a mighty fine jelly bean and pickle sandwich for what it's worth. Then one day Al was in the forest trying to get a tan when he heard the torture screaming of a funny little man. He was caught in a bear trap and Al set him free. And the guy that he rescued was grateful as could be. And it turns out he's a big shot producer on TV. So he gives Al a contract, and what do you know? Now he's got his very own weird Al show. Today's lesson is take responsibility for your actions and always be considerate of others. Oh, hey, how you doing? I thought I was going to get all my chores done before the show started, but these things kind of creep up on you. Being a cave owner is a lot of work. It's taken me all morning just to wash the stalactites. Maybe I should get a bigger brush. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. I gotta give Harvey his weekly sponge bath and pedicure, fix my leaky atomic reactor, recycle my used tissues, ugh, vacuum all the spicy cheese doodles off the sofa, alphabetize my soap collection, visualize world peace, wax the kitchen floor, scrape the mold off the cheese log, and uh, throw out any milk that's not from this year. Man, this is too much responsibility. Uh-oh, company. Hiya, cuz. Hey, Corky. What brings you around here? Well, I was wondering if I could borrow a box of smelly socks. Uh, what, what do you need smelly socks for? Well, actually, it's more the box I need. Okay. Yeah, I don't have time to explain. It's, it's for an art project I'm working on. See, the big art fair is today, and I'm going to enter and win the grand prize, an autographed picture of Fabio. <laughs> well, it's nice to have goals in life. So about that box? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, oh, sorry. There you go. Thanks. Now, since I did a little favor for you... Oh, no, what is it? Well, I am just swamped today. Could you maybe help me out with a few chores around here? Oh, I don't know, Al. I've got to finish my project. I've got to get to the art fair. I... Oh, please! 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 Okay. Just because you're so pathetic. Oh, thanks, Corky. You're the best. You can start on these. I'll give you the rest later. Wash the hundred-year-old corn cob? Well, now that Corky's on cave maintenance, I can get back to the show. Speaking of which, I can tell by the old clock on the wall that once again it's time for... Al's mailbag, that's right. Well, let's see what's in the old mailbag this week. Uh, Corky, you're gonna have to fix the mail chute. I think it's stuck. <laughs> Never mind, Corky. Ah, uh, let's see. Got a letter here from uh, Steve Chai in Bellingham, Washington. And Steve writes, uh, Oh, it's an answer to our trivia question. Uh, if you remember, we asked our viewers to name all 42 presidents of the United States. Let's see if he did it. Uh-huh. Yeah? All right, Steve, you named them all. You named them all Bob, but <laughs> close enough. You win this lovely... Used toothbrush. Good going. Okay, what else we got here? Oh, junk mail. Oh, what do I need with a travel brochure? Spend a glorious vacation in beautiful Hawaii, sipping tall, fruity drinks under a shady palm tree with Daisy Fuentes rubbing your sore, tired shoulders. Well, that doesn't sound too shabby. Too bad I've got all this responsibility. Got this cave, got this show. Why? No, can't even think about it. But you know, I really do deserve a break. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but I just have to. Quirky can fill in for me. She's a real trooper. Okay, it's off to see the world. <laughs> Bye, Harvey. I'll probably be gone for several days, so uh, I'm gonna give you all your food right now. Ah. <sighs> 
Now, remember to pace yourself. Don't eat it all at once. Harvey, you hog. Well, I'm out of here. While I'm gone, uh, watch this Fat Man cartoon. The Adventures of Fat Man! <laughs> All right, Pops, out of the way. We're on a bagel run. <laughs> Fat Man here. What? No, you're kidding. I'm on my way. Don't tell me evil alien pirates who look like giant fish and come from a planet where they use bagels for money are robbing every deli in the area. Yep. That is just so typical. We need to formulate a plan. Of course! It's so obvious! I'll just take down all the deli store signs. Then the aliens won't know where to go. Uh, do you really think? <laughs> Sleep easy, sir. You'll never be vandalized again. Harry, run these up to our ATM, will you? We've saved some for a rainy day. Let's go shopping! Yeah! Shopping! <laughs> Excuse me, could I borrow this for just a tiny second? Saw this in a movie. There. I just zeroed in on a signal from the fish's home planet and used it to empty out their bank accounts. All those fish are now flat broke. Decided I should get the bakery signs too. Good thinking. Will this be cash or charge? Let me check this out. Hey, running kind of low. Better use my card. What? I'm broke! No, I can't hold on anymore. I need to talk to someone about my bank account, and I'm calling really long distance, and you know... Oh, man, she put me on hold again. <sighs> Fat Man, the aliens are standing right over there. You got a lot of fish, a lot of bagels. That's all I'm gonna say. Where are the flamethrowers? Aisle four. Okay, now let's see. One, aim away from face. Two, push button. Take that, evil seafood! Hey, everybody! We got a special today. Bagels and smoked lox. And it's kosher. Come to mama! <laughs> What's this? Al left Corky in charge of the show? Looks like he isn't being very responsible or considerate! Don't go away! We'll be right back! Can you believe it? The Weird Al Show is back! Hi. Um, I don't know where Al is right now, but I'm sure he's gonna turn up any second. I mean, this is his show, after all. I mean, he wouldn't... Phone! Hello? 
Aloha, Corky. Greetings from beautiful Hawaii. What are you doing there? This is so irresponsible of you. You're in the middle of a show. Oh, I do a show every week. I'm entitled to a little time off. Hey, you know Daisy Fuentes, don't you? Hi, Corky. Hi. Al, you can't do this to me. Look, I agreed to help you out so that you could do your show, not so you could play hooky. This is so irresponsible of you. Now, I don't know how to host a TV show. You, you've got to get back here right now. Corky, you would not believe how many Hawaiian shirts they have here. It's amazing. Are you listening to me? I'm not kidding around. Relax. You'll be great. Just cover for me this one time, all right? <gasps> oh, look. It's Don Hall. Wow. Uh, gotta go. I'll send you a postcard. Al, Bye. Al, wait. <laughs> again. <laughs> so, is everybody having fun? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be back any day now. <laughs> oh, doorbell's ringing. <sighs> Guess that means I should answer it. Oh, hi, Bobby. You're not Al. Yes, yes, I know. Al's not here right now. Can I help you with anything? Well, I'm doing a report for school. Can you tell me how a nuclear reactor works? Well, no. Oh. Anything else? I really need to know how a nuclear reactor works. OK, OK, nuclear reactor. Think, Corky, think. What would Al do? He'd show me a movie. Right, right, of course. <laughs> All right. Well, Bobby, I hope this short film will answer your question. On the way to school. It isn't far, and oh, it's fun. Walk to school, walk to school. This is the way we walk to school. Walk to school, walk to school. This is the way we walk to school. Skip to school, skip to school. This is the way we skip to school. Skip to school, skip to school. This is the way we... Say, there's something to see up here. The new garage. <clears throat> Did that help? Are you kidding? That film had nothing to do with nuclear reactors. Now I won't be able to do my report for school. I'll fail out of class, my self-esteem will drop through the floor, I'll start hanging out with the wrong crowd, they'll trick me into joining some band of counter-revolutionaries from some small third world country like Aruba, then I'll be captured and held hostage by rebel forces only to escape from jail and live the life of a hunted boy. A hunted boy! It's all your fault! No, Bobby, it's not my fault! I was supposed to... Phone! Hello? Bonjour, Corky! Just checking in. Al, where are you? Gee, I thought this Eiffel Tower thing back here would have been a dead giveaway. You're in France. Oui, oui, Corky! We eat the snails and we love the Jerry Lewis and we think all other Americans are filthy pig dogs! Ho, 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 ho! Okay, Al, listen to me very carefully. While you're out globetrotting, your show is falling apart. Oh, I am sure you're exaggerating. And besides all that, you're being really inconsiderate. I had plans today. Now I can't finish my art project, I can't go to the fair, and I'll never win that autographed picture of Fabio. Well, I mean, there's always next year, right? And Bobby was over here. He said that because of you, he's going to join a band of counter-revolutionaries in Aruba. I think we got a bad connection. Look, Al, this show is your responsibility. I never wanted to do it. I'm a lousy host, and I'm all out of ideas. Hey, no problem. Just uh, just do what I do. Turn on the TV and see what they're doing on the other channels. But, hey, look, wait. I gotta go. Corky, I, I really appreciate this. I'll call you later. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I guess we'll just, we'll take a look at what's on the other channels right now. <sighs> Get those neck muscles really loose! One and two and three and four and two and two and... A new study says, if given the choice, most Americans would prefer to eat as much chocolate as they can without getting fat over the ability to fly. Fools. Dad! Dad, I'm stuck again! Okay, son. You stay there, I'll be right back. Go.
got lard. Well, that wasn't very inspirational. Phone! Ow! Where are you? Yes, young lady, that's a very good question. Where is Yankovic? Uh-oh. I mean, uh, hello, JB. What a nice surprise. Speaking of surprises, you can imagine mine. When I turned on the Weird Al show, and lo and behold, there's no Weird Al. Uh, yes, well, I can explain. People like to get what they expect. And when I don't get what I expect, I become unhappy. And when I'm unhappy, I'm not happy! Of course not, now, but if you I'm just... I'm not an unreasonable man. You tell Yankovic he can keep his TV show as long as he's back on the air in, no oh, say, five minutes. Otherwise, he's out-ski. You got that? Yes, sir. And would it kill him to cut his hair once in a while? Just a thought. Ciao. Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Oh, thank goodness. He's finally back. Oh, hello. Who are you? I'm Vanna, the squirmy's cook. I was watching the show. It looked like you could use some help. Oh, boy, could I ever. Well, if you would allow me, I would be very happy to help with the Harvey the Wonder Hamster stunt. Really? You've worked with hamsters before? Oh, yeah. They're my specialty. Okay, well, yeah, I guess it's fine. Wonderful, just let me get set up. You go vacuum up your spicy cheese doodles and I'll take it from here. Well, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Varna the Squirmy's Cook. Thank you, Corky. Corky. Hello, everybody. I'm gonna say I'm so very enthusiastic about this opportunity to help with today's Harvey the Wonder Hamster Stunt. You see, in my native country, hamsters are a very important part of our culture. Because hamsters are so intelligent, hamsters are so supple, and so very, very delicious. <laughs> Any last words? What's that? Oh. Go to a commercial? Okay. We'll be right back. Oh, no! If only Al were responsible and doing his job, maybe Harvey wouldn't be in such hot water. If you thought Twister was terrifying... Did you feel something? If you thought Dante's Peak was daunting... Mommy, I'm cool! If you thought Volcano was... Uh, something with a V... If you thought there were no more natural disasters left to make a movie about, you thought wrong. 60% chance of rain, the most horrifying new movie of the season. When the weather got out of hand. We can't go starting a panic, not during tourist season. Only one man had the courage. Mr. Mayor, I don't care what happens to your tourist season. Somebody has to tell these people that they might need a jacket. To bring Mother Nature to her knees. Come on, people, let's go! Everybody in the rec room! We don't know what we're in for. Come on, let's go, everybody! When the barometric pressure increases, so does the terror. So we don't even know if it's gonna rain? No, son. We don't. 60% chance of rain coming soon to a theater near you. Maybe. Horses! We'll be right back! Alright! The Weird Al Show is back! Not so fast, you delicious little hamster with the strong legs. You haven't done your stunt yet. Hello? Corky! You'll never guess where I'm calling from. Never mind that. You better get back here right away. I can't leave yet. They're just serving the ice cream. Mmm, butternut fudge mint ripple swirl, my favorite. You're driving me nuts. Listen, JB called. He said if you don't come back on the show immediately, you won't have a show to come back to. Oh, he's bluffing. Hey, watch this. Look, it's an ice cream float. What, what are you now, Carrot Top? Look, if you want to lose your show, that, that's fine. J just don't tell me I didn't warn you. So, what's on the show right now? Oh, some guy named Varna, the Squirmies cook, is helping out with the Harvey the Wonder hamster stunt. Squirmies, huh? I was in Squirma once. Interesting culture. Uh, the food there is really bizarre. You know what they actually consider to be a rare delicacy? Hamst... <sighs> Al? <laughs> Al, you okay? <laughs> uh, hello? Uh, uh, huh. That was strange. 
Got disconnected. Hmm. Harvey the Wonder Hamster will now attempt to break Houdini's record for holding his breath underwater. A feat made even more daring and death defying by the fact that the water is boiling hot and contains chopped celery, diced carrots, and a pinch of salt. Let's go, Harvey! No! I can't believe you were gonna cook Harvey! I was just gonna give him a steam bath! Al, you're here! I'm so glad to see you. What are you doing? Varna here was gonna cook Harvey! Varna, how could you? Oh, I was just trying to teach him how to play water polo with his pearl onion. Out, 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 out! Out, 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 out! Looks like Al learned that being irresponsible and inconsiderate can lead to trouble. Right, Harvey? Don't go away, or you'll regret it for the rest of your life! The Weird Al Show is back! Did you miss me? Okay, look, I'm really sorry for bailing out on the show like that. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Harvey, I'm so sorry. I promise I'll never blow off my responsibilities like that again. Can you ever forgive me? Please? Oh, thanks, Harvey. <coughs> oh, and Corky, what can I say? I, I abused our cousinly bond and took advantage of your kind and perky nature. There's no excuse for what I did, but as a way of saying I'm sorry, I brought along somebody I thought you'd like to meet. Fabio! Hey, you want me to sign your left nostril? Yeah! Oh, thanks, Al. You're the best cousin a girl ever had. Oh, that's just what I wanted to hear. Got a funny 